What are the six best ways to treat keratoconus without surgery? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai from Inside Vision Center Optometry. What are the six best ways to treat your keratoconus without surgery? Usually, you wanna do surgery after doing non-surgical approaches for treating keratoconus. So let's talk about that. One, the first way might seem a little obvious, but sometimes just a pair of glasses can do wonders and you'll see quite well with just a pair of glasses. Now, if you're going to wear glasses, I'd recommend a few ways to make sure they're the right glasses for you. For instance, when the optician puts the glasses on your face with the frame, are they just using a little pen and dotting it on the lens in a ruler? If they're doing that, they might not be getting the most accurate way of designing glasses for you. Digital design glasses measured with special devices can adjust for the tilt of the lens, the wrap of it, that can best correct your keratoconus in a pair of glasses if you're gonna make them. The second best way to treat keratoconus involves wearing soft contact lenses. But I wouldn't look for just regular soft contact lenses. I would make sure that they are soft contact lenses designed to treat patients with keratoconus. Because there's a big difference between just the run of the mill contact lenses that you read on the radio and you see on TV, and the ones specifically designed to treat keratoconus. The third best way of treating keratoconus is with wearing rigid gas permeable lenses. We've been doing those for years. And the corneal gas permeable lenses are usually the same size, if you look in the mirror, as a colored part of the eye. The beauty of wearing a hard contact lens is now your eye essentially is the shape of the contact lens and not the shape of your eye with keratoconus. So it corrects for the problem with keratoconus, which is that your eye is not the shape that it should be to see clearly. The fourth best way to treat keratoconus is a hybrid contact lens. Now, one of the main problems with wearing rigid gas permeable lenses, the number one problem that our patients report is that it's just not comfortable to wear. Now, the hybrid contact lens tries to get around that by making a soft skirt around the hard-centered contact lens. So when you blink, it feels more comfortable because there's a soft skirt. The fifth best way of treating keratoconus without surgery is in fact, by far the most popular way. In fact, over 90% of the patients that we see that have keratoconus are in this sort of treatment, and that is a scleral contact lens. A scleral contact lens has so many benefits. It makes the vision better, usually, than wearing a pair of glasses or wearing soft contact lenses, or even the small corneal gas permeable lenses. The lens is also extremely comfortable because the lens is larger, so when you blink, your lids glide over the front smooth surface of the lens instead of hitting the edge of it, which might feel a little uncomfortable. And lastly, because it's filled with fluid, patients that have issues with dry eyes, which is the number one reason why patients cannot wear contact lenses, it can help to treat the dry eye problem as well. And so for those reasons, most of other patients around the world right now, probably over 80% of them, especially in developed countries in the United States, are in scleral contact lenses. The sixth best way of treating keratoconus, I'm gonna mislead you a little bit, in that it's, some patients will say it's surgery and some patients will say it's not surgery. It's called corneal cross-linking. Corneal cross-linking doesn't involve a scalpel and cutting into the eye or doing anything strange, or it doesn't involve a laser reshaping the front part of the eye like refractive surgery. What it involves is just some eye drops and light. And then what happens is it can strengthen the bonds of the cornea to slow down or ideally stop the eyes from getting worse if you have keratoconus. That makes it so that you're able to treat the keratoconus much easier with contact lenses and glasses without more severe procedures down the road. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are struggling with vision problems with keratoconus, all of those treatments that I mentioned above might be your saving grace. I would contact your eye doctor to find out which one is right for you.